What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource. Why do I keep saying back again? I never left. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 35, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. So without wasting any more time, let the Setup Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. So this week we have a very special guest, Alex Brooks from Mars Bar. He's going to be showing off his amazing setup at the end of this episode. You guys definitely don't want to miss out. So he has a channel as well with over 300,000 subscribers. He's one of the best UK vloggers you can find. Uh, he's actually a really cool, really chill dude. I'll leave a link to his channel. You guys should definitely check him out and subscribe. As always, everyone's gear for their setups will be linked down below, as well as anything I recommend for this episode. So with that said, here are your five lucky contestants. We have Luke, Renee, Rob, Sultan, and Zach. Congratulations for making it to Setup Wars episode 35. First up is Luke with a dual display setup. We have two 23 inch AOC monitors hooked up to a custom made monitor mount. Now that's something I haven't seen before. It also looks like Luke went with a wireless setup. We have a Dell keyboard and mouse combo on what appears to be the tiniest mouse pad in the world. We also have a pair of Alec Lansing speakers on the desk and a HyperX cloud gaming headset hooked up to a wall hanger, which I'm guessing is probably custom made as well. Excellent work with the cables. I see you made good use of those spiral wraps and Velcro straps. And powering this setup, we have an FX6300 and an R9270 GPU. See you guys, AMD builds do exist on Setup Wars. A very minimalistic and clean setup, no doubt. Thank you, Luke, for entering. Rene comes in second with LEDs up top. So we have two 24-inch Acer monitors, a Rocat keyboard and mouse with a pair of Yamaha CRX speakers on the desk. I don't know what that giant white block is that's holding up your monitors, but I like it. Also on the desk, we have a pair of wireless headphones from Jabra and an Auna 900B microphone hooked up to a boom arm. Pretty good job with cable management. There's a huge whiteboard that's kind of blocking the wires in the back, so it's really not visible, but I do like the spiral wrap you use for the cables and the keyboard and mouse. I guess instead of seeing two cables on a desk, one spiral tube is better. I don't know how I feel about the wire running up against the wall to your LEDs up top, but the only obvious recommendation I can give you is an anchor headphone anchor to keep both of your headphones on. But other than that, I have really nothing else to say. Thank you, Renee, for entering. At number three, we have Rob with a gaming room setup. Do you seriously have two TVs next to each other? Holy crap. So let's start off with the actual desk setup. You have a very sexy LG 34 inch ultra wide curved monitor. Seal of approval. Just kidding. It's an awesome monitor, but it's not enough to earn the seal. On the desk, we have the Logitech K800 wireless keyboard and Logitech G602 gaming mouse. Some other stuff on the desk include a pair of Z323 speaker system from Logitech and also from Logitech a G930 wireless gaming headset resting on top of a simple yet clean headset stand. Cable management is not bad, at least you moved all the wires to one side and wrapped them together so I won't give you crap about them. Venturing off into the living room we enter a whole new realm of awesomeness. We have a freaking 120 inch projector screen for console gaming. And off to the left side, we have not one, but two TVs. A 46 inch Samsung and a 40 inch Philips TV. On the bottom, we have two Xbox Ones, an Xbox 360 and a PS4. Okay, why the hell do you need two Xbox Ones under the same TV? I understand if each TV had an Xbox One, but... Um... Regardless, it's a very impressive setup. Thank you, Rob, for entering. I may just have to rob you. Get it? Because... Because of the, the, the name. Sultan is next up with a single HP display. On the desk, we have my favorite keyboard and mouse combo from Red Dragon and a Thermal Take mouse pad. To the left of the PC setup, we have an MSI GS70 gaming laptop. And also on the desk, we have a Razer headset, which is hanging from a phone holder that's hooked up to the side of the desk. Hey, if it works, it works. The cable management is also really great. This is like the third tube-like wire management device I've seen on this episode. But the reason why I featured this in Setup Wars wasn't because of the actual setup, it's because of this entire room. I like looking at unique setups or gaming rooms. It's definitely different than most of the setups I've received on the show. So on the opposite side, we have a Samsung TV mounted on the wall, which is hooked up to a PS4 
And speaking about walls, I'm really digging the wallpaper and wall shelves you've added. Nothing quite says personality like shelves of figurines and samurai swords. I'm definitely digging the atmosphere you have here. You know, it isn't all about the desk setup, it's also about what's surrounding it as well, and I feel like Sultan strikes a perfect balance. I really like your room setup, Sultan. Thank you for entering. Last but not least, we have Zach. Two 24-inch LG monitors, an Apple wireless keyboard, and Amazon mouse on top of the Goliathus mouse pad. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Wars. You guys know what to do. I'm just kidding. Of course there's more. Excellent work with cable management. I'll definitely give you a point for that remote placement and your containers which have labels for certain things. Very clean setup. Thank you, Zach, for entering. So that is it for this week's episode of Setup Wars. You guys know what to do. Drop your comments down below and vote on the best desk setup. As always, voting will end this Saturday and I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So follow me if you must. All right, so moving on to the main event of this episode. Alex Brooks is going to be showing off his setup. Go ahead and take it away, man. So here we are. This is my desk tour for 2016. Now, I have chosen a GT Omega racing chair right here. As you can see, it's made out of really, really nice premium uh, leather. Next thing is the desk. I actually built this desk myself. Now, on the desk here, I've got a MacBook Pro. My phone, iPhone 6 S Plus 64 gigabyte model. This is my Elite Xbox controller. More on that a little bit later. And this is my keyboard. As you can see, I want to show you guys underneath. This is the Razer Deathstalker. Now, I had the mechanical Razer keyboard, but I couldn't get along with it because it just made far too much racket when I was trying to record videos. Uh, but as far as cable management goes, uh, I've drilled, 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 drill, don't know what the word is, uh, a hole in the desk right there uh, with my drill. And as you can see, I've got a USB extender coming out there. Oh, and by the way, this is the um, Myonix Neos 7000 mouse, a really, 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 really nice mouse. I really enjoy using that. So let's head under the desk. As you can see right here, I've actually got an LED strip, just one of the old style ones, not Philip Shue or anything. This is just an LED strip uh, from Amazon. So these are the KRK Rocket 5 Studio monitors. They're sort of good for listening to music as well as mixing and mastering audio. Now, the monitors, the actual monitors, these three things right here. Let's talk about them and let's go left to right. So this is an Asus monitor. It's 24 inches in size. And then obviously we've got the ultra wide. Now this is the 34 inch ultra wide from LG. I believe the model number is 34UM67. And uh, this is a great monitor for editing. And you're probably thinking, Alex, why have you got all these screens? You surely can't use all of those. Well, yeah, I can, you see. If I was to open up my Premiere profile, that opens up my timeline. And then I have my preview on, as I say, the Asus because uh, it's very true to color and then if I open up a file explorer which has all my information like all my files and things in there and then I might want to have a Twitter window open so that's the monitors and obviously I've got a webcam up there provided by Logitech now what I've done is just pretty much drilled a big 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 hole through this wall into this room so to explain this better let's actually go into this room and I'll show you guys what's going on so guys welcome to the computer room this is where I keep my computer and all of my devices, charging things, Xboxes, amplifier for the TV, Sonos and Apple TV and a Skybox. This is my computer. Now it's a custom built computer. I'm rocking MSI products in here because I absolutely love uh, MSI. Their products are absolutely stellar, killer, whatever word you want to use. You can see that I've actually got an LED strip behind the computer. So when I come in here, it does just look really, really, really sexy. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but over the top of this computer right here, there, that is the other side um, of where the cables come. So as you can see, I've got the three display cables for my uh, for my uh, monitors, uh, a HDMI cable that goes out to the monitor, which connects to the Elgato capture card. And the other side of the Elgato capture card obviously goes to the Xbox One, which is here. And then this is the wireless mix amp for my um, headset. So guys, I believe that is pretty much it. My name's been Alex, you guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. Adios. So that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.